So far, we've seen how to analyze fMRI data using different software packages, such as AFNI, SPM, and FSL. Now that you know the relative strengths of each one, what if we could combine all of their strengths into a single pre-processing pipeline? Sort of like creating a superhero, like Captain Planet or Pootie Tang. We can do this with fMRI Prep, a software package that uses standardized pre-processing on BIDS compliant fMRI data. This pipeline uses tools from different fMRI software packages, such as AFNI, FSL, ANTS, FreeSurfer, and NiPipe, to perform specific pre-processing steps. Rather than being limited to a single software package, fMRI Prep will leverage the best software tool for each pre-processing step, such as ANTS for normalization, FreeSurfer for surface reconstruction, and so on. It's simple to use, and because it's standardized, it provides better transparency and reproducibility. To use fMRI Prep, you will need to install the following programs. If you haven't already installed FreeSurfer from a previous tutorial, go to this web page that I'm opening up right now. As you'll see later, you don't actually need to download the entire software package. You just need the license.txt file, which you can get by filling out this form. This includes personal details like my name, address, email address, telephone number, but I don't want the NSA to see it, so I'm blurring it out. Once you fill out the form and submit it, they'll send you an email, and then you download this license.txt file. The next package to install is Docker. Docker allows you to access containers, which are suites of programs needed to do a certain task. In our case, we can use Docker to include all of the software packages needed for our analysis without having to download each of them separately. Go to this web page to download the version of Docker for your system, in my case, for Macintosh. This will take a little while. So at this point, I'm going to fade out once it starts to download and come back when it has finished. When it has finished downloading, click on it to open the Docker disk image, and then follow the instructions to place it into your applications folder. I've already installed this, so I'm not going to go through that again. But once it is installed, you'll see this icon that looks like a whale with some bubbles on top of it. If you click on that, go to Preferences, and then click on Resources. You can choose how much memory to let Docker use. It is recommended that you give it at least 8 gigabytes of memory and at least a couple of CPUs. The rest of the defaults should be fine. To activate the fMRI prep containers, we need to use pip to install the necessary packages. This is the line of code you'll need to type. I've already done this, so again, I'm not going to reinstall it again, but this will allow you to use the fMRI prep command. Now that we have all of the prerequisites installed, we need a data set. For this course, we will be analyzing an fMRI data set that used the flanker task, the same one that we used for the AFNI tutorial, so that we can compare the results. The data set can be found here on the Open Neuro website, an online repository for neuroimaging data. The Open Neuro page for the Flinker dataset includes a dataset file tree, which includes the folders anat, which contains the anatomical image, and func, which contains the functional images and onset times for each run in a TSV file. Note that the data needs to be in this bids format in order to be analyzed by fMRI prep. If you have your own data and would like to analyze it using fMRI prep, see the link in the description box down below for a bids tutorial. Now download the dataset by clicking on the download button at the top of the page. The dataset is about two gigabytes and comes in a zipped folder. If the download button doesn't work, try using the Amazon Web Services or AWS option. Go to this page and download the appropriate AWS client for your operating system. Once it has installed, open a terminal, navigate to the desktop, and type the following. 
or simply copy and paste it from the Open Neural page. It should take about 10 to 15 minutes to download. So I'm going to fade out here and come back. Once you've downloaded the data set, change the name from this to Flanker. Now that we have the data, we are ready to create our fMRI prep analysis script, which we will cover in the next video. Call me down on the panty star. Oh, call me down on the patty style. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Foodie. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Thank you, Foodie. <laughs>